I'm Matt Thomas. I'm the director of the Paseo. Uh, the Paseo is uh, an outdoor art festival and it's going to be um, in collaboration with the Taos Fall Arts Festival and their 40th anniversary. Um, what we want to do is we want to bring art to the streets of Taos. So we're uh, take, bringing an art to Taos that uh, doesn't go in a gallery, that doesn't hang on a wall. And so we've invited 20 different artists to uh, show their work on sidewalks and plazas and in the streets. Um, that includes installation, uh, projection works, and performance art. That's a lot. Where is it going to happen? <laughs> well, we have our challenge, and that is to connect all the venues for the Taos Fall Arts Festival. So what we have happened is that the Fall Arts Festival is divided between Kachina Lodge, uh, the, the Fetchin House, the Taos Inn, Staples Gallery, as well as the Guadalupe Gym and the Old County Courthouse. And so the Paseo is going to connect um, that 0.7 mile long stretch so that while you're enjoying the different uh, hung art at the festival um, for the Fall Arts, you also get to enjoy the art along the, tr uh, the trail outside. This all happens on September 26th. It's a Friday and it's the kickoff for the Fall Arts Festival. It's just one night only. It's one day only. We're actually going to start in the afternoon. Um, installations will start being ready by that mid-afternoon and then four o'clock we'll go and then around sunset you're going to see a transformation when the light and projection art starts coming out around seven and we'll go until 10 p.m. and then we'll have an after party out at the Taos Mesa Brewing with DJs, fire, circus acts. It'll be a blast. Yeah, yeah, we want to bring a new energy to Taos. We want to bring something that uh, is something for everyone. It's completely free and it allows us all to come together as a community, uh, walk in the town um, together and share this, these incredible um, installation pieces that we might not have actually seen in Taos. No one's ever really done anything this ambitious in Taos before. How did, how did it come about? Um, it came about because of the Fall Arts Festival. Um, I'm a big fan of Taos Fall Arts Festival. It's been typically housed at the Taos Convention Center. Um, they've recently um, sold the building and so they had to relocate. Um, placing them in five different locations was sort of risky and so um, there's only one way I felt that we could begin to connect that and that's, that is by having a street art festival um, to connect all these different venues. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it just so happened that that was going to be 0.7 miles. It was a very ambitious project. Um, but we were, uh, and the biggest thing that we had to do was raise the money and we've done that. And how did you raise the money? We decided to do a Kickstarter campaign. We felt like uh, uh, crowdfunding was the way in which not only to raise the money you needed, but also to create a momentum and create an energy. When you have so many people coming together and supporting something, even on a small scale, like $5, $10, or $25, they almost take possession and ownership of this. And we knew that if we could get hundreds and hundreds of people excited and involved in the event, then um, we could create the momentum necessary to pull off such a large festival. Um, we had a very successful campaign. Um, I definitely recommend it for, for different fundraising. I learned a lot in the process. Um, our, our entire committee learned a lot in, in how to do that. It um, it's definitely takes a lot of energy and asking um, a lot of friends and family in your community for money. And so um, I think it's still a viable uh, resource for, for raising funds and a, and a great opportunity for engaging a large amount of people to know about your event. Um, whether I could do it every year, I doubt it. I think it's, it's, uh, it, it asks a lot of your friends and community. So do you think uh, the Paseo is a one-time only deal or would you want to do it again? Oh, we, we want to do this as an annual event. I think Kickstarter was great because it helped us kickstart it. Um, we had a vision, we had our mission statement, and we were able to put together a video that represents what we want. Um, and uh, the only way to really get the funds to start that was through a Kickstarter. Um, our hope now is to really put on a great event, um, have an incredible time, and show the town, show the community, show the state what we're capable of doing and bringing to Taos, and that Taos can host such an event. And so we're now beginning to think about different ways in which to finance it for the future. Um, and this could be grants, this could be different forms of financing for the arts, and um, that'll be the next chapter that we'll explore um, once the Paseo is over. 
I, I just love the idea of, you know, Taos is, is known for its art and so much of it is inside. It's on a gallery wall. It has a price tag on it. And here's an opportunity for us to engage the entire community. I mean, I don't know how many times we drive up and down Paseo, um, Paseo del Pueblo and, and now we can do that and actually experience art within that. And, um, and it, it engages everyone. Everyone has an opportunity to experience art, whether um, they want to buy it or just, um, just admire it. Um, it's, it's visible and it's there. So where can people see uh, details about the event? We have all of our information on our website. It's uh, paseotaos.org. Um, you'll see all the schedule, all the artists. Um, we have tons of events that go, all, um, go along with it, such as teen and high school workshops. Um, we also have different events, such as a Pecha Kucha night, where some of the artists will have an opportunity to talk about their artwork. Um, we also have an after party that will, that's mentioned on the website and um, in our map. And we have a map that we just laid out. We have 20 different artists all over um, downtown. And it'll give you a point by point uh, um, um, uh, look at um, where, where to go and, and experience all this. Cool. Well, we look forward to it. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, everyone come on out. It should be really fun.